Good morning and welcome to Mindset Mondays with DTK. This is episode 51 in an initially year-long project to design for folks with a growth mindset or those who'd like to create one to play with new ideas, new concepts, and try on new mindsets. So if you'll please take just a moment and look below this video and click share, if you will, and invite your community your friends and colleagues on Facebook to join the conversation. You can also join the Facebook group. It's a private group designed to extend these conversations. And that's at facebook.com slash groups slash mindset Mondays. So here's what we're playing with this week. And, and it seems that we're starting off this <laughs> starting off this year with, with uh, a, a, concur a running theme. Life is like a play. It's not the length, but the excellence of the acting that matters. And I say that this is following the theme because we, we've had several topics that have rolled along the thread of death. This comes from Seneca. Um, and it, it's part of the Stoic tradition, actually, even though Seneca was much later, the, the idea of the Stoics that um, memento mori, that remember you will die. <laughs> um, it's a, a way to get grounded in the importance of living by recalling and constantly recalling and being reminded that we are mortal. Now, and that makes sense 2,000 years ago when the state of medicine was much, much, <laughs> when the life expectancy was closer to 50 than it is now to 80 and beyond, the, the state of medicine was much farther, much less advanced than it is now. And there was much less focus on beautifying the body and extending life and all of the, the pampering that, that, is part of our world now. Um, and I, for me, that's a really important way to look forward. It's more than just remembering that we will die. So to focus on what we choose to do in life, Seneca took it a step further. That idea that life is like a play. It's not the length that matters. It's the excellence of the acting that matters. It's what we do with the time that we have, how fully and deeply we live it. What is our footprint of impact? What is our enjoyment? What is the richness of the experience? It seems so obvious and elegantly simple. What an incredible way to approach the world. The opportunity for to look for and create and lean into experiences. The opportunity to live life fully. So this is really the playground. What comes up for you in looking at this? <laughs> what is the excellence of your acting? <laughs> And excellence, and this goes all the way back to the conversations we've had about Don Miguel Ruiz and the four agreements. The fourth agreement is always do your best. So it's a very situational assessment. Always do your best. Your best today may be and is likely different than your best yesterday or tomorrow. And so looking at this quote from Seneca, it's not the length, but the excellence of the acting. So what is your excellence today? What's your excellence right now? And what is your excellence as you look across the span of your life thus far? And what does that allow you to look at going forward? When you look at this from the perspective that you are the cast, the plot's yours to create, the script is written as you go, and it's you who gives the story life. How are you acting? What does your stage look like? How have you crafted 
your play. You know, when I look at it that way, not just because I've come back in town just in time to see my son in his last performance of his last high school play. Um, he's in Les Mis, and there's so much opportunity to create richness. Are you walking on the stage and just executing your lines? Are you walking through without deeply experiencing it? If yours was a play, how would the audience, if your life were a play, how would the audience react? Irene says, excellence is being fully present and engaged in whatever she does, <laughs> even play. It's about being fully alive and even creates the space to learn from that excellence. I like really like that last piece, Irene, the, the idea of learning from the excellence, taking the experience of the most recent act and seeing how it improves or impacts or informs the next scene. <laughs> Neil, Neil, <laughs> Neil's comment is this morning, it's a tragedy. And, and I think that's a, a great way to use humor to, to capture there are so many ways to live and if life feels like a tragedy now act excellently <laughs> put your full self into it go deep and really experience what it is because again it's not the length it's the excellence that makes all the difference started reading uh, on the way back in overnight. I, I started reading um, Slipstream Time Hacking. Um, I remember the, the author's last name is Hardy, and I'll post the link to this. And it talks about as you, as one accelerates, time slows down. It's playing with the idea of the relativity of time in terms of our experience as we move more slowly through life time seems to slow time seems to speed up it, it's and and i'll share more of the thoughts on this in the facebook group the the concept is as we leap forward as we move more quickly our experience of time slows down gives more space to act and gives more space and grace to be aware and intentional about our actions, our acting. And with that space, with that grace is the opportunity for excellence and awareness. <laughs> Thank you. Neil. Slipstream time hacking, how to cheat time, live more and enhance happiness by Benjamin Hardy. And, and again, I'll, I'll post a link to that as well. Thanks, Neil. Um, and it's wrapping my brain around it, flying in on the red eye was remarkable. Um, and <laughs> I recommend it. Um, the book, not flying on the red eye. Um, and Dwayne says, I love the idea of creating a life purposefully as opposed to letting life happen to you. And most often, that's what we do. We're somnambulists. We sleepwalk through life and let it happen to us as opposed to being aware and intentional and leaning towards excellence and creating our own version of excellence. And that's the piece that sticks with me. The I and the cast, the plot's mine to create. The script, I write it as I go. And it's me who gives the story life. It's me who calls action. So what I'll offer is your opportunity is to play with the idea of what is excellence for you. 
solely for you, not this monolithic agreed upon idea of excellence. It's yours. So as you go through life and act, regardless of the length, regardless of the time you have left, it's the excellence of the acting that matters. Elaine and I talk about it a lot that when we crossed the 50 line several years ago, we entered our back 50. And yet I live with the idea that I'm in my back 50. Will we live to 100? Don't know. But leaning into the excellence, whether it's a few years or 50 or, or more, the excellence is much more attractive than the number. And speaking of Elaine, next week is episode 50. It's the year mark. Started just around Groundhog Day last year and finishing around Groundhog Day this year. And Elaine is joining me for episode 52. So it'll be the two of us on broadcast here. Um, and I look forward to you joining. And in between now and then, please come to facebook.com slash groups slash Mindset Mondays. And would love you to join the group, would love you to join for the broadcast next week, and would love your thoughts on this week's broadcast. Quote from Seneca, life is like a play. It's not the length, but the excellence of the acting that matters. Would love your thoughts and what comes up for you and to invite your friends to join the community. So between now and next week, what mindset will you choose?